Brandy Passant was born in 1980 in Harris County, Texas. She later moved to California. While working for a cleaning company, she met Jared, who was a sales manager at the same company. The two hit it off almost immediately, both romantically and business-wise. They ventured into business together, and although some of it failed, the couple has managed to stick by each other's side. Currently, the pair co-stars as auction bidders in A&E's reality TV show Storage Wars. Jared was the one initially cast by the show, but producers only started filming after Brandy got on board. On the show, Brandy appears not only reasonable, but also cautious in her job. With newfound success, there's also plenty of stress and troubles that come along with it. Today, we are going to be talking about 10 reasons people are worried about Brandy from Storage Wars. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Brandy does not let her motion sickness deter her from doing her job. She has had kenotosis for the longest time as revealed by TheThings.com, but she still gets on the road to attend her auctions, interviews, and other business-related errands. However, Brandy advises passengers to sit far from her in case she gets nauseous. Escalophobia refers to the fear of escalators. Experts believe it is the result of the fear of heights, but knowing Brandy and the fact that she suffers from motion sickness, it is no surprise that the moving stairway gives her the jitters. TheThings.com also says that she is afraid of escalators because they can swallow her toes. Brandy does not only hate golf, but she loathes it. She says on iBidForStorage.com that golf is humiliating and there isn't a more infuriating sport as far as I'm concerned. We are not sure whether this is because she is not good at it or she just doesn't see the fun of the sport. Most TV stars wear makeup, including lipstick, but you will never spot this storage or star with a colored lip. She does not hate lipstick per se, she just thinks that it does not look good on her. According to online sources, Randy believes that she has chicken lips and they cannot look good with lipstick. SelfStorageFinders.com discloses that Brandy has a net worth of $1.5 million. Together with her husband, the duo operates under the business name Now and Then and has a second-hand storage in Long Beach, California. Although Brandy is one of the lowest paid cast members of the show, she has managed to strike gold in storage auctions. Brandy was once arrested for driving when she was not in the right state of mind. It's possible to get a mugshot of the reality star online. Her husband is no saint either, since Jared has served time for possession. However, those days are behind them. The two now seem more like responsible drivers and parents. Brandy's reputation was once on the line when Hunter Moore, the owner of a website, posted supposed photos of her. Luckily, she was able to prove that the photos were not real. TVOverMind.com reports that she sued Hunter and won the case. However, she received much less than what she had asked for in damages. Brandy and Jared are not only life partners, but business partners as well. They met on the job, and since they have opened a number of ventures together, although not all have been successful, as revealed by SelfStorageFinders.com, they have a store in California that sells secondhand items that they bid for. Jared got a role on Storage Wars on the condition that he would tag his partner along. Brandy and Jared appear to be such an attraction on Storage Wars that they even got their own show, Brandy and Jared Married to the Job. According to The Talk 2, the show aired 8 episodes before cancellation. Although Brandy has been successful both as a storage unit auctioneer and a reality TV star, she does not want any of her two kids to end up like her or take on the business. As much as she appears to be good at her job, TheThings.com reveals Brandy finds her job hard. She wants her kids to try other things and make their own minds about their individual career path. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, once again, please leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.